I have officially signed the bout agreement. I will be taking on Tito Ortiz on January 21st from the Forum in L.A., live and free and only on Spike TV. Tito Ortiz comes out. The fight gets done, and Tito comes out, and he says, and I quote, that I have signed, Chael signed his death wish. It will be the first death caused by fist trauma. Well, let's start right out of the gate. Let me back up. The quote is, and I'll give it to you again, Chael signed his death wish. I believe what you were looking for is warrant, Tito. I believe the expression is, I signed my death warrant. Then he says it will be the first death caused by fist trauma. The the fact that he included the word fist is just weird. It, the, the, the most unblunt object that he has the legal ability to strike me with the fist let's let's move on to the fact that it makes no sense and it's factually incorrect let's just do this moving forward tito let's just make a little deal because i know you listen to the podcast i will carry this fight i will handle the promotion before you speak in the future contact me and and run it by me first I'm going to make you look a fool on January 21st. It's why I called you out, specifically. I'm going to spend the next 94 days acting like I didn't call you out because you were low-hanging fruit. I'm going to convince everybody that it's a competitive fight because I have to. If I give the spoiler alert now, the headline simply reads, Chael wins. So I'm going to go out and pull the mask over everybody's eyes and convince them that this is a meaningful contest, even though it's not. I'm going to start that as soon as I'm I'm done with this speech. That's all going to start after that. I'm stacking the deck against myself. I'm revealing to everybody how the outcome comes, which is 94 days away. And then I'm still going to convince them. But let me handle it for the both of us. And the next time you make a tough guy statement, it's got Tito. Listen, and I'm being serious. I'll go, I'll go into mode after this. It's got to be something unique. A kid on the playground could come up with that. In fairness, a kid on the, on the playground could come up with the, the, the death wish. And, and yeah, maybe the kid would say wish instead of warrant. It's an easy mistake. But the problem is you didn't say it live. You sent it out in a tweet. So you had the ability to edit it and you still got it wrong. So either do this, stop, just stop and let me handle this, or just run it by me. I'll just, I'll do a quick edit for you, I'll let you get the words right, and I'll help you any way that I can. That's where it's going to end. On on January 21st, you're on your own, because daddy's running roughshod through through Bellator, and we're starting with you. I am on a legend's ass whipping tour, and it is coming to a town near you on January 21st. Now, with that said, I'm going to tell everybody I'm going to tell everybody how to save some time. All right, I've been te- you know you guys, I tell you how I'm frustrated. I got to work like the rest of you, right? I get up in the morning, I come home late. So when I sit down at the desk and I've got to pay some bills, if I don't have any stamps, I'm beat. There's nothing I can do until the next day. And the next day getting to the post office, you guys know what a pain that is. They're open from 9 to 5. Well, most of us are working 9 to 5. So how do we go get a little simple thing like stamps? How do we do that? Real easy. Stamps.com. Anything the United States Post Office can do, Stamps.com can do. If you have a small business, much like I do, we ship every guest packages, every guest gets a gift box. That's all they get for coming on the show. That and some airtime on the biggest podcast, right? I ship it through Stamps.com. They'll send you out of scale. You can weigh everything. They come, it comes to the penny. You don't overpay. And above everything else, I love stamps.com. They're wonderful. In front of everything else, guys, they're never closed. It's 24 seven. I can even get customer service on the line if I don't know how to send out a certain package. Stamps.com. When you guys go there, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage. Type in Chael. You're going to get an extra savings for doing that. Instant. You need something. You can buy. You can print. U.S. official postage. Any letter. Any package. You print it right from your computer. It's quick. 
it's easy. Nobody goes to Stamps.com and leaves Stamps.com. It is a one-time sign-up, and you will have these guys for life, and you will save even more money by going to the microphone and typing in Chael. Tito, I will not be sending you a gift package, but I do mean it. You can run this stuff by me. You, you, you've got my my number. You can text it to me. What what else do we got? I mean, come on, death wish. It's death warrant. It's an old expression. It's not even your expression when you're ripping somebody's material off. That's an old cliche. You can't transfer the word warrant for wish. It doesn't work that way. You guys want to know something? When I was growing up, do you remember Arsenio Hall, comedian, black guy? The color, His color is relevant to the story. Arsenio Hall was the funniest guy, and I had so many good memories. He would come on at 11 o'clock, and I used to stay up, and I used to watch his show, even though it was my bedtime. I'd, I'd, I'd sneak and I'd watch Arsenio Hall. Arsenio Hall had a bit back in the 80s, and I remember it to this day because it was so good. Black comedian, and he was talking about the Ku Klux Klan. Now, the Ku Klux Klan, a lot of people haven't heard of them, but if you if you if you're around when we were, these knuckleheads were a little bigger back. So Arsenio Hall in his opening monologue weighs in on the Ku Klux Klan, and all he says about them, the only thing he says about them, he goes, first off, Klan is spelled with a C, and the other two words don't exist. This is in the 80s. This is 30 years ago. I will be driving in my car and I'll laugh about him. He put the entire Ku Klux Klan on blast with that simple G-rated statement. And when I read Tito ma- making this statement, getting it wrong, saying wish instead of warrant, using fist for the trauma and saying it would be the first day, I just it reminded me of that Arsenio Hall bit because I thought, well, first off, it, it, that's not that's not correct. Second off, you said fist, which is the least weapon that you can bring into an unarmed combative event. And third off, it's warrant, not wish. And when you're ripping off somebody's bit, you've got to at least get the cliche right. You just do. So just step aside. Just stand back. Let daddy handle this. There's a reason they brought me in to this company, Tito. And it's not to beat you. It's to replace you. That's the cold, hard reality, and it's going to happen on January 21st, and it has begun. I told you, I told you two minutes ago I was going to make my final statement and let it begin. It has begun. I can feel my blood boiling right now. We're going to move on with the show.